How's it going? I'm Winder. This is WTV, and today you are here. You, yeah, you. You're here for the two week challenge, and boy, have we got an episode for you. Welcome to Shipley Lake and the site of our new theme park, Winderland, Great Britain. Things have been moving along at a rapid rate here in England and our first builder, Tay, has delivered a beautiful entrance plaza that matches our beautiful English countryside setting. We have three wonderful rides on offer here in Entrance Plaza as well as our getaway to Adventure Ferry Terminal. Councilwoman Simmons will be very happy with the improvements that have been made to housing on Miller Road and the promise of the park opening in the near future. Today you are part of a very selected few who get to visit the site and check out the rides early. Let me hand you over to Winda now for your tour. Catch you on the flip! Hello, hello, hello. What do you think? Ooh, didn't it look good? Didn't it look good? Well, before we get in, before we get in and see this wonderful build, I think we need to get the builder in chat. Tay, are you there? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> you left me waiting. You left me waiting. I was worried. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? How did you find the build? Um, it was actually a lot of fun. I <laughs> I worked on because, as you said, I am very busy, and I dedicated all of my free time to this build for the whole two weeks so oh, every time after we did bedtime i came back did a little bit like was back here for a few hours a night and nap time and it was a lot of fun i was actually um this was the first thing i built in a very long time um i think the last thing i built was for you actually the martian ride so ah, building yes. this was a lot of fun to like get back into it yeah well, it's it's good. It's great to have you back, and I or I know all too well the um, the wonders of having children. And it's literally when you've got a deadline. Like I've just recently been doing the movement challenge thing, and I was already way behind with the building. And then it was just like I got to put the kids to bed. I got to feed. I got to do this. I got to pick them up from school. But every second in between, when I wasn't when I yes. wasn't family, I was like right. Put a bit of wall down, put a stone down, put a rock, tree bush done, good, right, okay, dinner time, kids. <laughs> I, I know exactly, I know exactly what, how you feel, but what yep, you've done. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> but what you've done, though, 
is absolutely incre incredible. So um, did you find the challenge hard at all? Because obviously the two two weeks is the is the big is the only I think the, the difficulty fitting it all in um... the two weeks. Honestly, I don't think I found it difficult. Um, maybe the thing that was difficult was building houses because I was like, I don't, I don't build houses. Yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, but I hope I did a good enough job making them different but similar enough. Sorry, well, I was yelling. I guess. Um. Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. I will. Um, I right, tell you what, we can start by looking at your houses because they're really, really nice. I like them anyway. I think they're brilliant. You've done a very, very good, good job. Okay, so let's great. get I'm you so full. Happy. Let's get you um, on the game, so everyone can see what we're seeing. So this is your entrance, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's go and let's go and have a quick look down at your houses. So this is Miller Road, okay. Again, this exists in real life, Miller Road, strangely. Um, and, and obviously Miller, Mister Tep. <laughs> I thought it was quite 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 weird to have a Miller Road um, when um, Mr. Miller is so regularly in my chat. But there you go. Relly Maraud. Yeah. <laughs> the joys of family life. Complete chaos 99% of the time. Yeah, you agree with it. Right. Um, so this was your build, Tay. And you had to finish off these buildings here or work out what they were trying to build. Use the foundations to build something. And what I've seen. Yeah. So we've got three... I assume these would be like a flats or apartments. Yeah, that was kind of my envision because like I saw I went to the East Coast in October two years ago um, and I was in N New England and I saw a lot of houses over in like Salem and everywhere that were um, like old like mansions, I guess, that yeah, yeah. were like turned into apartments. So that's kind of what I was envisioning for this. Like you walk in, there's a stairwell, and then up the stair is like one apartment, downstairs is another apartment. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. You've got a couple of shared gardens at the back for them. And this is, these, these are, this is very much British new build houses. This is exactly what all of our new houses look like nowadays. Every house looks exactly the same, all with this same kind of brick. Um, and you've done it beautifully. It's lovely. I love this little porch area here. It's a little American. That, that's a little uh, American touch there. You wouldn't get one of those in the UK. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I was. that was honestly like my biggest, that's what I kind of was saying in, in chat to um, the cockers, that it was difficult trying to build and figure out what English architecture would look like. <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> I don't do that, and so I wanted them to be similar but different. Because I didn't want to build the exact same house as you already had. So. No, you want to be, get your own little um, twists on them. And I'm sure if um, or if if Councilwoman Simmons de de um, declares that we need more houses, then I reckon all builders are going to end up with something like you. So seeing all of the different different little touches that people have will be really interesting. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love the work you've done. The gardens look lovely, really work, really nicely planned out, fill in the space. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new properties. And we only asked for five. So you've done an absolute blinding job there. And Simmons will be very, very happy. But anyway, we're not really here about houses, are we? We're, we're here all about your wonderful entrance to the park, which is here. Now, I asked you not to do anything with the outside because we've got some plans. The, the um, architects are working on the uh, main plaza and all the transport links for Wimbledon. So your job was literally from the entrance. And um, where did you get the idea for the entrance? What was, what was um, the thoughts? Uh, Thorpe Park. I didn't know what British parks look like and I wanted to make sure because it's in it's in Great Britain. So I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure I'm doing the thing. So I looked up all the different parts. I looked at Alton Towers. I looked at Thorpe Park and I looked at one more. I don't quite remember, but I really liked how I think I believe I think it was Thorpe Park where you walk in and it's like a kind of like a main building. And then there's like some places you can take a few photos and they have stuff on the walls. And so I was like, wait, that I really like that where it's like more of a main entryway and yeah. then you get the maps and stuff and then from there is the rest of the world yeah well you've done it brilliantly i love the clock tower on the top 
really really nice you got all the lettering in i know you I, I know i gave you the big letters and just like lucky you said those letters are stupidly big can i use smaller ones please winda and i said okay so you and lucky I'm, both got your wish and you got the smaller letters but it looks I'm great i'm so thankful because i put the letters up there and they were massive they would be I was so worried <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful it's really really good and um it's it's quite nice and understated because obviously winderland when they uh when the winderland corporation built their their own entrance with the original winderland park it's very loud and garish and um it's but it's really interesting to see that lucky went less garish and you've got even more like it's quite it's beautifully minimalistic and it does exactly what it needs to be Ooh, we've got some nice music playing in the entrances Oh, we go through just at the right time as the reveal on the music. I love this. That was perfect. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Just beautiful. And as you said, you got all the, the pictures up on the walls, things for the people to look at when they come through. We've got a couple of doors here. Does every, just before I start, does every door lead somewhere? Uh, this door leads somewhere. The next door doesn't, does but doesn't. There is a staff maintenance building behind it, um, but it's not like stuff we could see yeah i love that ceiling i love Actually, the glass that looks, that looks beautiful i've never looked at it from the bottom up before <laughs> the glass gives you the light in the building that you wouldn't get it that you that you wouldn't get if it was dark so it's nice and open i love it really really pretty and look at all the little touches on the buildings like look we've got some ac going on there you wouldn't get ac in the uk but well, 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 well. Okay. Ooh, look, look. you can remove them <laughs> <laughs> so this door lee is the one that leads to out out the back to where the electricity is and this one is a staff area nice love it love it it's really pretty it's really pretty Thanks. tape i like it a lot and now we're opening to this big open plaza here it's huge it's, it's like you could do shows here and parades and things like that around the front of this it'd be really good Maybe. i had i'm not gonna lie i had a little bit of a um conundrum i guess about how open that plaza was i kept trying to think about like what else does it need what else does it need what else does it need and eventually i just put just the fountain and pushed it farther back and i went okay it's done <laughs> I, I think it works fine and if you've got hundreds of people coming in through your doors at the start of the day you need plenty of space for them to spread out so they i can... think at one point actually to make sure for that same reason be like oh like if maybe it just looks empty because it needs people so i took all of the employees that were trying to quit and i just moved them over into that area <laughs> to make sure that it... <laughs> and it looked good with people yeah I managed to get rid of them because they were all kind of just standing here looking like zombies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> it's a little bit Disney in that aspect with like, you know, you have like the big castle and like the big open area. And I think that's kind of what I wanted. You, I, I pull a lot from Disneyland when I build parks because that's what the main park I go to. So I'm try I was, I really had to rein back in doing so. Mm. But I think I think I managed in not going too overboard. I think you've done brilliantly. I think it's really pretty. I love these these kiosks here and these these nice um structures. You've put lights underneath them as well so we've got a bit of light at night. Oh yeah. I did. Yeah so very the area nice. is a very lit up at night because I also did a little trick um i think i learned this one from moment where you like sink them into the ground to like have light splashing off yeah yeah so it really lit up very well oh beautiful and we got some some lovely eateries i did give you a lot of things didn't i a lot of eateries and drinks and <laughs> and say right build this and build that and build this and build that you've got and you've done it all very well so we've got a pip shop water and we've got the hot dog squad and the monsieur fritz so you can have hot dog and chips and a drink while you're waiting for rope drop at the beginning of the day. Perfect. I love it. And then we've in the entrance plaza, you've put all of the amenities that we would expect. We've got a wonderful... Look at the glass on that again. We've got a wonderful locker area. And you can even get your tickets for parking. Brilliant. I love it. 
I really do like these buildings that you've built with the, with the glass roofs. Thank you. Yeah, I was kind of, I wanted them to be similar, right? To all have the same vibe, but I didn't want to build the same thing over and over and over again. So I kind of adjusted them and changed them yeah. a little bit. And I think it worked really well. It's nice. It's got good shapes that, that you can, that, that, that work really nicely with the, um, the landscape behind. Because it is quite a flat area, but as long as when you're in the park, you can't see those houses, which is right. And they can't see into the park from their houses. That's also good. So it's, it's, I love it. I love the shapes and everything you've done. You had a big gift shop that we wanted. And that's here. Our souvenir shop. It's a bit loud in here. Let me just turn the game down a little bit. <laughs> what are these? Ooh. Copies. I love this. Look. So cute, filling up all the um, the little spaces with gifts and stuff. It's such a monotonous task, isn't it, making a gift shop? Oh, it is, but it's honestly, I love it so much. It's kind of like a zen thing for me, I think. <laughs> yeah. You've done a great job. It's lovely. What the Thank hell you. is that thing on the bottom? <gasps> oh, it's a scary frog. That's a very scary frog. <laughs> it's a very scary frog. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Maybe this frog could become a bit of a mascot for the park or something. Look at that thing. <laughs> there we oh, go. It's... Frog boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Really, really nice. And up here we've got, oh, look, because around the corner you've got the, um, there's a photo opportunity. And right here you've got your um, your photos so people can come up and then, and buy their photos from the, uh, from the photo op point. Beautiful. Yeah exactly as you're leaving the park just oh don't forget your photo on the way out <laughs> it's perfect it's a really nice again you've got these lovely lovely ceilings lovely lighting throughout it's clean it's neat it's elegant and it's spacious and that's exactly what you're going to need in an entrance plaza plaza gift shop you know you want the space you don't want people to be um all crowded in here i love it really really nice and then what? Oh, we got more stuff: strollers and wheelchair rental. Very nice. And then what? We got our information kiosks. Ooh. Yeah. And the staff. Oh, that's room. also the staff room. Yep. <laughs> it's beautiful, say. Really, really nice entrance plaza. Oh, I've missed a bit, haven't I? Look at that. We've got ATMs. Ooh, you've sunk lights on the floor. Do they light up the ATMs at night? That's pretty cool. They do, yeah. So you can see what you're doing and hopefully you take out the correct amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we'll do is we'll have a look at night um, later. We'll come back for a night view. But I do really like this entrance area. It's gorgeous. We've got plenty of toilets. Two toilets. So all the guests have got somewhere to go for a wee wee. Beautiful. Gorgeous entrance plaza. Thanks. I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked Ooh, on it. We've got some backstage <laughs> into it as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this was another thing that was like hard for me because I you said something about that in my American brain didn't know what lorries were, and I asked so many people, and I was like, uh, what is that? I want to make sure I do it correctly. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I figured it out, and I was like, oh, okay, because um, I thought it was a ship, so I was really confused. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're, 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 they're trucks. Sorry. Um, no, no, I, I don't forgot. Think. I forgot. The Americans don't understand our language a lot of the time. No, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> you should go check Tay's new park. Who this? It's adorable. Yeah, Tay, your park, your new park. Who this wasn't was adorable. Oh, thank I you. I love that. I love that. That was when you officially were became on my radar. I was like, right, she's getting in the two week challenge. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love that. <laughs> but no, it's um, this is gorgeous. Lovely entrance. And I like the, the the big gates there, so we can get um, any plant machinery in if we need to to fix rides and stuff. Yeah, okay. and that was kind of the idea too of keeping that plaza so open, so I could get like all those trucks in and out, mm. and we can move things if we needed to. Yeah, 
Well, it's perfect. It, it works. It works exactly how we need it to. Really, um, love it. Got a bit of staff park in there. This might get expanded on later because um, this road is going to become quite interesting. It's going to be a residential road, so we're going to have to maybe segregate a little bit. But that'll be that'll be a job for me down the line. Don't you worry about it. Um, <laughs> I love these little planters as well. Very nice. We well, got yeah. lights on that as well. Yeah, they all every every tree um is lit up very nicely actually. That's my favorite way to light trees, so I do that a lot. It's beautiful. Oh, I can imagine this looks really gorgeous at night. Right, let's move around. Now, you were given <laughs> you were given how many rides? Two rides. And you were also given the obviously the entrance pass you were given the ferry terminal and then you had to pick one of the um Winderland innovations and incorporate that into your area so we'll have a look at that first very moomin like style entrance only what's needed very clean yeah exactly exactly um so let's move around this is what you chose you chose waddle's wonderful sound of music ride um which really is quite pretty and you've made um not too many changes to it have you in fact, I don't think no, you made I, any changes. I didn't have the heart because I can't, I think any ride I picked, I wouldn't have changed because everyone spends so much time like re like theming it. I could, didn't have the heart to re theme it. Yeah. So I just changed the, like made the gate more um, permanent, like the queue line. Yeah. And uh, that was it. <laughs> well, it does exactly what it should do. You've got a lovely queue line there. You've got your photo op, which I think still is very funny <laughs> honestly it's my favorite part <laughs> and we all know this is a beautiful ride and it's got all the appropriate backstage in oh, behind it and then what you've done is you've then said right well i'm not going to re-theme it i'll just make it an, Aust an austrian beer garden area so you've extended the theme into a beautiful beautiful beer garden here which I think is lovely. Taking those mountains. Yeah, thank you for the mountains, uh, Cockers. I definitely copy painted. <laughs> <laughs> but it works really nicely, and I love I love all of the uh, the tables. Again, you've carried that theme from the eateries with these these nice shade bean things, which are really really cool. I love it. It's really nice. And then what we sell in here? Baguettes. This is the bread place, isn't it? What's it called? Yeah. La Vince 27 or something like that, isn't it? I would absolutely but, drink several beers there. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I love beer gardens. So I was like, why don't I just make an actual beer garden? <laughs> well, you can imagine sitting here as the parks close in or you've done all your rides for the day and you just think, right, we're getting a train home, lads. Let's get legless. Let's just chill out here. Look out across the lake. Beautiful. Wonderful. And that actually adds really nicely to the um, to the uh, Sound of Music ride. Just extends that theme across. It's beautiful. What have you done here for these trims? Um, those are... Oh, the stone yeah, columns. Yeah, like the Bavarian cast stone like, columns just flipped on their sides. They're quite effective, aren't they? It was actually, yeah, I really like it. It was my first time using them like this, and I definitely am going to do it again. It works really well. Another use for a piece that I've never used. I've never done, never used a piece, that piece like that before. I've used it to do a lot of things, but not on its side to make a barricade. And it works really nice because it, it borders off the lake. You can clearly see you're not meant to go over this. I love it. Right, moving on to the next ride. We've got our Ferris wheel here, which is gorgeous. Sitting on the lake. The first thing when you walk into the park is that big Ferris wheel in front of you. And you think, yeah, that's cool. You can imagine the views when this park is finished. You're just looking out across the lake. 
Yeah, that was my goal. I actually placed the Ferris wheel in like a bunch of different places in the park before settling on there. And to like see like, okay, because I did a lot of back and forth, like going into the neighborhood to like make sure can I see it? And if I can see it, is it just the tippy top? And then I would be like, okay, is there a good view now here? <laughs> like, and then eventually <laughs> it was actually my um, my husband's input that was like, just do Disney and put it on the water. And I was like, oh my God, yes. Yeah. It, it works it makes it it makes a centerpiece out of a ride out of that ride that is normally quite underwhelming like ferris wheels you know they they i i find them completely boring to go on i like my i like my white knuckle <laughs> stuff but actually that i would go on for those views yeah can you I'm imagine down the line months. can you imagine down the line if we get a nice centerpiece in the middle of this lake sit up here for a firework display at night or something oh that would be so cool <laughs> sell premium tickets win the land corporation love making money baby <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful really really nice and again you've gone with those shades and the lights on the queues very neat queue lights here is that glass oh yeah it is. yep that's glass yeah, because I, I first put up like a, a, a concrete wall and I was like, oh, that's awful. And then we changed it to glass and I went, oh, that that's the call. It works really nicely. I've never used glass unless it's actually going to be part of a building. You've used it as a as a fence and it's it's brilliant. Because you can see through the whole thing. I did never yeah. again, never done anything like that. Well, I really, because the lake is, you you made the lake, like, so important. I felt like the lake was so important that you, that would be a shame to cover it up. To so I wanted it, to yeah. make sure that you could see the lake still from, like, everywhere. And the lake will become important. I think a lot of the areas are going to be, like, facing onto the lake, you know. A bit like Epcot kind of thing, you know. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, and I love these sails you've used. Thank you. I didn't think I don't think I had them in my TMTK collection. So um, I've always wa I've seen Waddle use them a couple of times. So now I own them. That's good. <laughs> they're my favorite. I use them everywhere. Don't think I've ever used them before, but they're brilliant and they work really nicely here. I love the colors you've chosen as well. Thanks. I tried to keep with your actually, I think I did a Ferris wheel off of your um, little window TV logo. Yeah, we love it. As best as possible. We love it. <laughs> perfect is exactly what we want and it works really nice and even even the um even the covers are part the same color aren't they they they're going with yes it. really nice really nice ride all right anyway let's go back further around this part because i skipped a bit when we were over by the beer garden you have the ferry term terminal our gateway to adventure which would take people across the park. Very, very important that we have the ferry terminal. And again, at night, this will be getting some serious moolah. You could you could get yourself like <laughs> imagine like selling champagne champagne fireworks cruises to all those those silly couples with loads of money. Honestly, <laughs> I would go on that. <laughs> that sounds so nice. <laughs> oh, we've got another shop here. You got a second second gift shop. Look at you. Uh, yes. Oh, this one I wanted to be more like a concession stand, right? Yeah, like, yeah. oh, we're gonna go on the boat, maybe take a load off, have a lunch, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely. Got all the water bottles on display, and um, our just a memento gift shop there. And look at these big glass walls, like straight out onto the um, onto the lake. That's a good view and a half, isn't it? I like these big windows. love it love it tay really lovely little building thanks oh, i've just been smiling the whole way around this i love it it's so cute and it's clean and it's nice and it's pretty and everything is exactly how i would have done it you know like <laughs> for an entrance plaza you don't want it busy you want it you want big open spaces so people are free to roam and you want everything pointing in the right direction which is what it is Ferris wheel, beautiful centerpiece, 
big open plazas and all your shops and stuff have got purpose, you know. You haven't just put a, a drink shop in for the hell of it. You've built a whole beer garden themed around the ride. It's wonderful. And then here we've got this wonderful eatery just on the lake. Again, premium tickets on sale for the evenings. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted that to be like, have your little cup of coffee, watch the boats go by, wave to the people. <laughs> love it. I love it. Oh, nothing in there. Nice queue. Makes sense. Nice station. Keep it nice and neutral with the theming, which is good because every all the other stations will be heavily themed because they'll be part of heavily themed areas. But keeping this nice and neutral is perfect. Yeah, that's kind of like every other like theme park that has like themes that I've mm. gone to like I've noticed that entrance is always just like kind of bland it's like not bland bland was the wrong word but like kind of just you know whatever yeah. and I kind of wanted to fashion this one off of like a little like port because I was like oh it's boats and so I kind of wanted to make it feel like a, a little river city or something yeah well, it works fine, and it's in, and it does look like a port with the buildings either side of it. You get it's got a very different theme to the beer garden behind it, and got a very different theme to the entrance over there. You've got like all these lovely little themes within your entrance, and none of them are too over the top to take away from trying to keep the entrance plaza neutral. It's really, really good. I love it, love it, and all the foliage work is really pretty. I haven't commented on that at all, but look at all these lovely flower beds. Thank you. Got lavender I hate, there. I hate gardening. <laughs> so I'm glad that they look good. They look, I'm very they happy look with glorious. them. <laughs> they look beautiful. They've done exactly what we needed. And left it not too over the top so that we can have these big themes that come up around you, come up around the entrance area. Keeping it nice and low. I love it. We've got one more ride to do, guys, and then that's 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 it. I mean, it's just a shame because I always I always hate hate to finish these showcases. Look <laughs> at this countryside cruising. I think this is my favorite ride that I've ever built. I think it's again really really neat. I love the um. I love the way you. have Frame the whole thing with these really nice concrete walls. Thank you. Um, I wish I could say I made that up on my own. That was a, um, again, I pulled from Disneyland that this is pretty close to how Autotopia does yeah. theirs. And um, so I went, I like that. <laughs> I'm stealing that. <laughs> well, you've done a great job. And I think this is where the majority of your pieces have come in with these. <laughs> curves the yeah, entire was... way around it it's brilliant <laughs> i was chewing my nails and trying to make sure i didn't go over ten thousand, and i don't think i even did oh no you're Still. nowhere near it i've already checked what should we drive or should we be passengers i don't think it matters if you drive or passage well what do you what do you prefer do you prefer it being chauffeured or, or are you like ah, i'm a bad passenger let me behind the wheel Oh no, I'll, I'll, I'll be chauffeured. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll drive then. Oh, there you go. Hello, Tay. <laughs> I, it's, it's just really cute, and I love the auto, Autotopia um, at Disney. I remember loving it as a kid. I don't remember the last time I went on that ride. So, but I love, like every time I see a picture and just like the feel of it. So I was mm. like, yeah, that's a good one. I actually made the ride match the postage for the speed limits. <laughs> ah. So if you are going 10, miles per hour or nice the sign says. nice <laughs> love it i love the way how you seamlessly merge the tracks together like when they uh, when they pass each other like here that was i'm not 
not gonna lie, it's such a happy accident, and I loved it. I love every minute of it. <laughs> I wanted it to have like a continuous going, so I just added, I just kept adding cars until there was always at least one car in the station. Yeah. And it just, that's how it worked out. It's brilliant. Love it. There you go. How was your ride, madam? I hope I hope I was a good driver oh, there. Oh, it was it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Is this just um, concrete here? Yeah, you've used concrete slabs, mm -hmm. and it works so nicely. It makes it look like it all one piece, and it completely hides the horrible. Oh no, because. That's all you get, isn't it, when you get out of the station. You just get the track and then there's no there's no edges. So you've added the edges yeah. in. Yeah. And it is great how they all just kind of um pass each other at different times. Look at that. Just like Autotopia. <laughs> and you have spent a long time edging this, haven't you? Yes, it a took long, a very long time. Long time. <laughs> I think there was like one or two nights because I only worked like a few hours a night on this, and I think it took two nights to uh, completely get it all the way around. Oh, it's so effective though. Just framing the ride, making the ride do the work for you, rather than hiding it completely. You've just edged the actual ride itself. See what what I'm always tempted to do when I'm building these rides is just sink into the ground so that they're on so that they're so they're kind of like on the ground yes. and then you just paint tarmac down and frame it with a with a bit of bushes or whatever but you've actually said no i want to see the ride and i want to add to that it's beautiful it's really really cool thank you yeah i typically i i tend to do that a lot too so i i wanted something different <laughs> yeah We'll get that going around again. We'll, we'll, we'll open this all eventually. Sorry, you're not going to see guests on this because the park's nowhere near ready to open. Um, we've 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 got to have at least a couple of areas done before we open this park. So I'm thinking maybe maybe after a few more builders we might get the park open. Plus we need an entrance plaza. I mean, we don't even have spawn. <laughs> we don't even have spawn points at the moment. So. <laughs> Um, a little yeah. hard to get guests in without those <laughs> yes yes but this is stunning tay it's a really gorgeous area really clean really neat and it does exactly what you need it to do gets everyone off on their journey around the park quickly with a couple of like lovely rides just to get them get their wetting their whistles you know so that is effectively our entrance now it's it's amazing we will have a community build down the line where people can add to the entrance area with um well now that 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 uh universally good nice park has opened we need to we need to uh create a lot of um infrastructure and restaurants and bars around us so this this entrance will change but outside your bit will stay exactly the same. Can we have a look Great. at it? Can we have a little look at it at night now? Yes, it. Uh, it I think it's all lit up at night, so it should be perfect for it. Let's look at it from the lake to start off with. It really is very pretty. Oh, look at that! <clears throat> Isn't that beautiful? Plenty of light, just 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 the right amount of light, not over um overexposed it at all. Yeah, just enough that you won't get like pit pocketed or anything. So yeah. it's perfect. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Let's have a look at the beer garden and over here at night. 
Get, again, very neutral on the lights. You've gone for just the, the, the plain whites and yellows. You've obviously got some of the highlights on the Ferris wheel that give a bit of that blue out later um, from the other side, mate. Oh, there you go. There we go. We've got some lights going on there. But um, I like the fact that you've kept it nice and neutral with the light. You haven't gone for like, oh, we're going to make the whole area pink. or you know. <laughs> no, I did light the fountain blue, but I think that's it. But even that works in with everything else, and it's a subtle blue. Can you imagine standing in this plaza at the end of the day, watching the fireworks up above you? Or maybe not fireworks because of the houses, maybe more a drone <laughs> display or something. Can you do drones in Blanco? Maybe we can get someone really clever to do that. Um, <laughs> but no, Tay, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much for being part of it. Have, Thank did, you for having me. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the I, build? I really did. This was a lot of fun. And like I said, like in the beginning, like it actually got me back into wanting to build. So it was super fun. I loved it. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I suppose normally I say, did you enjoy it? Would you do something like this again? I have you, But I'm not going to ask that. I'm going to ask. Is this now officially your final Planko build? Oh no. Now we've got oh, Planko no. 2 on the on the horizon. Is this the final the final thing we're gonna see from Tay? For Planet Coaster, maybe. <laughs> it's, yeah. quite, it's quite a um it's quite like oh that, <laughs> that makes me sad and excited at the same time. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It does. It does, and, oh, and no. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I, I'm glad the two week challenge could be your final build, and this park will hopefully eventually have around 30, 40 people in it. So having this as a as a final send off, I think, will be absolutely brilliant. Um, and you're the first official builder for Windland UK for Windland GB for the two week challenge 2024, and Tay. It's amazing. It's beautiful. You've done an incredible job and I couldn't thank you enough. Well done to you. Um, I'm so glad that we could get you on and we could get you involved in the two week challenge. And maybe, I don't know, down the line, 2025 onwards, maybe, we're, maybe we might see you again in a future two week challenge with Planko 2. Well, I would love to be back. This was honestly, thank you so much for letting me be part of this. This has been super fun and fantastic and kind of making little dreams come true. So it's really cool. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. And thank you for being a part of everything um, Winda TV related lately. You were in the Universal one. You've already built for this once and now you've built again because you obviously built your um, your Gatsby ride as well. So thank yes. you for being part of it. It's lovely to lovely to have new builders in and hopefully we'll see you again in Planko too. But yeah, I think Oh of course. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say goodbye because we've got stuff to go. We've got we've got stuff to do. Yes. We've got to get a next builder in. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tay, for your beautiful area. It's been a privilege to have you on the channel. Privilege to have you building. And I'm gonna have to say now, catch you on the flip. Peace out. All Thank right. you. Bye. Mwah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Tay. Wow, guys. What an incredible area that Tay has built for us here. The music works really nicely for the front of the park. It's just everything's just set up nicely for our beautiful park to really take shape now. Um, we've obviously got her wonderful... Houses down here, all lit up at night. But now it's time to move on. And this is where I need to get a little bit serious, unfortunately, guys. Um, not that it hasn't been serious so far, uh, but we've we've got to look at the zoo. We've got to go over to Bella Brava now um, to have a look at the zoo. There's been some very, very important updates with the zoo this week. Um, and uh, well, to be fair, we were we were all ready to go until Wednesday, and it's all gone a bit wrong. Um, but I don't, I'm not going to say any more. Um, I will let. Well, 
I've been ordered to let you see this. Hello everyone and welcome back to Italy, where we are getting ready for constructions to begin on the Winterland Zoo. I am so happy that we can finally start building my dream conservation zoo to preserve the beautiful habitats of the local wildlife. Since the delay, there have been some developments here at the site. We are still trying to manage the badger population that keeps expanding down the hillside. The fallow deer are in mating season and it's these two species that we need to provide stable habitats for as we look to build our first area. Hello. Come down to the front of the park. I have the solution to our badger problem. What is he up to this time? This is the solution to our problem. What are in the crates? Wolves. What? My friend Hank runs a zoo in Berlin and he said the best thing to do would be to cull the badges and manage the population. He has lent me this pack of wolves to carry out the deed. No, you can't. They will kill them all. It is necessary, my dear. And besides, it's too late. The keepers are already driving the wolves up to the vineyard. Oh, no. Wait, what's the smoke up there? Oh, no. The track has crashed. The wolves have got out. They are going back down the hill towards the deer. You stupid man. I can't believe you have done this. I can't work like this anymore. I quit. Mamma mia, ma veramente, ma come si fa a fare certe cose? Questi tedeschi sono veramente stupidi. La corporazione Winderland? Poi ti becco dall'altra parte, cazzuto. Um, yes, well, so, I... Winder, part of the Winderland Corporation, have been issued with a statement to uh, respond and to answer and to answer to what's happened this week at the Winderland Zoo. And um, I will answer any questions after the statement. We here at the Winderland Corporation would like to apologise for our errors while setting up the, the new zoo at Bella Brava. Due to some problems, the zoo has been put on hold whilst we and the, authority, the authorities get the situation under control. We thank you for your patience at this time. I will now spend a few minutes to field any questions you have regarding the Winderland Zoo before we move on to look at the next development at our exciting new project in Shipley, England. So, um, question one, the fuck, uh, I, I cannot respond to any swearing, um, and, uh, uh unfortunately that, that, uh, that, sorry, sorry, but how long do you uh, expect people to take shit like this from the window group? Hey, again, I understand your, I understand your anger um and um your frustration with the winderland zoo project it is in hand we will um be moving forward we now have another obviously we 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 now have another problem to deal with um in the fact that i shouldn't say problem animal they're not animals are a problem um we've got another species of animal that we need to um home because uh, the wolves have completely just run off into the woods. So we've got to round them up. We've got to rehome them. And hopefully Hans will take them back uh, off our hands. S not all the deer were um, were killed, um, luckily. Um, some of the deer 
managed to run off again into the woods. Um, and as far as we know, um, as we had tagged the majority of the deer, there are still around 30% of the population in the area. So we, we, we are still looking at, we have, a, we have actually rounded them up and we've moved them to another part of the site to be away from the wolves. Looks like venison is back on the menu, boys. Um, yes. So you've caused an environmental disaster and you're hoping we'll be a happy ultras about it. Well, I haven't caused an environmental disaster. We bought the land. The animals are there. We were doing a good thing of trying to rehome them and we may have made a few errors. This is not a disaster. Wolves are known to be in that area, in, 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 in these areas anyway. Um, just not an entire pack. Um, I hope they rise up and eat your toes. I, I can only apologise. I've, I, I've, I have already apologised, and any um, any remarks completely at me, just with with crass swearing and stuff, will be ignored. Um, um, that's all I have to say. Even the bots are upset. Uh, yes, the badgers are safe. The badgers are safe. Most of them, the majority of them, the wolves kind of ignored them. They found bigger and better animals to eat. Um, watch the wolves and the badgers group up. I hope they don't. I hope they don't. Um, no, you won't need to round up wolves, uh, really. We will have... Um, we, we, well, Peter involved. Peter are involved at the moment. They have actually closed down the zoo. We cannot... Um, I suppose the end of this conversation is at the, for, for the foreseeable future until we get until we adhere to a lot of rulings uh, by the environmental authorities. We are no we are not allowed to do any construction on the site and um, we need to work with the authorities to put everything back to how the best we can before we can move on. This is just not done. No. I agree. Just try to be as meat-like as you can be. They'll come back. Mr. Winder, what is your reaction to the possible involvement of someone named the Austrian? The Austrian has um, is on. He, he has been. He has been sent. Well, he's been suspended for the time being. Um, he will no longer have anything to do with the Winderland Zoo project. He will be moving into the background looking um and we will when when we have finished our investigation and if he returns to work he will be working back in our accommodation and um hotels uh, branch of the windland corporation so we are not um so he won't be anywhere near the animals again i can i can promise you that um i need to get bertie on the phone please don't please don't it's fine i'm i'm, I'm honestly considering intervention well everything is in hand Peter are involved um, and we will be um, we'll be we'll be working with them. We can only go with what they rule, unfortunately. I don't know how to strip sausages to me is semi running through. I would never do that, Tep. The Austrian did bring it up in conversation. <laughs> but he was overall. Peter are going to have a bloody field day with this window corporation. I hope I, I hope not. We are we are a very professional company. We deliver beautiful, wonderful, world renowned experiences for guests at, at affordable prices. And we will continue to do that. This does not affect anything to do with Windowland Corporation um, and our current projects elsewhere on the in the globe. Um, Anyway, did you know that badgers like cheese? I didn't. So now I know where the Berlin Zoo walls were when I was there last Friday. I, I, Bridget, they, they are safely in the Italian hills. You should have seen what happened with the first Winterland that he didn't stream. Absolute blood. No, we, we, we do not talk about that. Um, mate, you must be more sick of all this than anyone. Tep is absolutely fine and tep where it has a very very important role to play over here in the uk um, and we will be having conversations in the near future 
Um, heavy is the head, cock as heavy as the head. Please don't, please don't. We're fine. I will call my Mando brothers in arms. <laughs> you don't exactly provide world class experiences for badgers. No, we don't. And we are learning from our we are learning from our mistakes. And again, I can only apologise. I can only apologise. Maybe contact your union ready against the Winder Corporation. My window, my union is Winder. I don't think I'll get very far. You'll be fine. Let's. I tell you what. Let's move on to some brighter news. We're going to go back to um, the Winderland Great Britain for a very important update um, because it's now time to hear about our next project at Shipley. I promise you I will keep you up to date with any information regarding the zoo um, and um, hopefully in the near future we should be able to move forward with that. All right. Welcome back to Shipley, where our new park and housing developments are starting to take shape. Before I continue, it is important to address that whilst elsewhere the Winderland Corporation are dealing with some bad press, I have full faith that they will continue to deliver on the promises they have made here at Shipley. Speaking of promises, whilst the construction of the theme park is important, the surrounding housing development and infrastructure is my priority. At a local council meeting this week, the issue was raised over the need for more housing, but also the local community amenities. The residents here currently have a 10 minute drive into town for a shop and our local schools are also at capacity. I am therefore issuing an order that you plan and build a new primary school and a local shop for the residents as well as continuing to deliver on your housing quota. I will say that I am very happy with the look of the entrance to the park and we have decided to honour the builder by naming the road that she built after her. We are anxious to see what the first themed area is going to be and would like to know if you are going to incorporate any of the old themes from the American Adventure, which I personally still have fond memories of. Okay, so we're back. We're back at Shipley. Um, we will forget about everything else that's happened. I, again, I will be able to answer any further questions in the red button um, regarding Winderland Zoo. We're going to move on and we'll look at Shipley, which is working very, very well. And we have a very, very important new builder to announce tonight. Lots of rides for you guys to choose. And, and Angela there spoke to us a little bit um angela spoke to us a little bit about the uh about the american adventure um which she said is very dear to her heart she did actually make quite a few demands there she was talking about the american adventure and she was also talking about a primary school and some local amenities some shops so before we get on to our area 
let's have a look at what we need to do now our builder will have to build an entire area okay um they'll also have to build um houses which we've got a space down here for the next street the next area which will need five properties in it again so at least five properties for our builder and they will need to build be building houses they can have their own twists on the housing um structures but keep them around the same size we don't want any massive mansions we've got to fit as many people in this new development as possible that is what new builds are all about so this will be your area new builder okay um but new builder i think with a new area of this size to build and that street over there i think maybe the shops and the primary school might be a little bit of a stretch for you so i've decided to reach out to some of our ex-builders to help us with the infrastructure of the area So oh, there you have it, Shami and Jaro re-enlisted to help with all of the um, demands that the council are putting upon us. Um, now it's time to get on to our main build, our builder, and what they've got to do. They've got quite a large area. Here. Well, this has left me delighted. A whole area designated to memories of the American adventure. A new roller coaster and a nightmare log flume. Very exciting. And who will build this? Introducing a builder with a real eye for realism, the wonderfully talented C. Miles KC. There we go, guys. So that brings us basically to the end. But tonight it wasn't about Milesy. That's the next episode. Tonight wasn't about the zoo. It wasn't about the badges. Tonight was all about our first official builder for Winderland Great Britain. The wonderful Hey Hey Tay, who has done an absolutely beautiful job of the entrance plaza. And I've got one more final video to celebrate. Guys, thank you very much for being here.